Well, this right here is either gonna be the quickest, best, and easiest solution that we could have possibly come up with for our kitchen cabinets, or it's gonna be a really terrible, terrible idea. Hey, we're Sally and Ed. And over the past few months, we have been self-converting this empty cargo van into a tiny home on wheels so that we can travel the big lap of Australia. Neither of us had any building experience prior to starting this conversion. So it has been quite the adventurous few months. And with 2020 quickly coming to an end, we need to get a rig along with this build as we're leaving to travel Australia on the 1st of January. That's in 30 days, friends. So here's the thing, right? Kitchen cabinets, have kind of been the thing that have been most daunting for us to build. And it's kind of for a couple of reasons, because one, well, we don't really have any woodworking experience. And thus far, something that we've been learning throughout this project is that things take a really long time to get done. And because we don't necessarily have the best skills, it is harder for us. So we went through a number of options for our kitchen cabinets. I have literally spent weeks trying to decide what we're gonna do for our kitchen cabinets because you know the kitchen is like a pretty big part of our van build both of us love to cook we love to eat and we didn't really want to compromise on our kitchen just because we were in a van yesterday i was like freaking out about trying to build the cabinets and try to make them look good and wondering like how we were gonna get it all done and just like having a bit of a freak out and then i had this light bulb moment why don't we just get Ikea cabinets and then we can do them and then it can be done. FYI, uh, Ikea base cabinets are about 17 kilos, which is so, so much heavier than I thought it would be. We don't even know where to begin, but I think what I'm gonna do is maybe just open all the boxes, hope there's instructions and hope that the instructions make sense. Than I thought there was gonna be. Uh, mm, there are no words on these instructions. No words, just pictures. Literally the most useless piece of paper. That was not helpful. Okay, so it took like a little bit of trial and error and maybe a few tears, but we're here. We've done it. Half the cabinet is done. So it is day two of building our IKEA cabinets. I completely underestimated how hard or how difficult it was going to be to build an IKEA cabinet, right? Because you think like flat pack cabinets. How hard can that be? I actually didn't even realize I was going to need tools like a drill and a hammer, which in hindsight is a little bit dumb because Anyway, in hindsight. So this is yesterday's progress. Down the bottom here, there will be one, two drawers, and our sink is gonna go on top. Obviously, when we have our kitchen bench on there, the sink will sit in there. Now we're gonna to attempt to make the drawers.
minutes on their own are kind of a little bit boring. And we kind of wanted to go with this fun pop of color for our kitchen cabinets. And I've been doing a little bit of research on how I could make this happen. Originally, I thought that I would just try and make the doors myself, but as it turns out, making drawer fronts and like kitchen cabinet doors is incredibly difficult and you need a lot of things. And I don't think I would have been able to come up with something that looked this good. So, I've also been doing some research into how to paint IKEA kitchen cabinets. So that's what I'm gonna go and try and attempt to do now. I've got this special primer, which is a shellac based primer, which is what I'm gonna prime all of the doors with because it is like a laminate product. So you need to put something on it to help the paint stick to it. So I'm gonna go do that now, that's step one. And then we are gonna paint it this super, super, super fun color. It's a pretty bold color and I'm not 100% sure, but YOLO, we're gonna do it. We're gonna try it anyway. Today, I popped this beauty on, and also I installed our pull-out pantry. Okay, so it's not perfect yet. I had to remake the door because for some silly reason we thought we could mix and match Ikea. FYI, you cannot. And so the front that came with our pull-out pantry actually didn't fit. It was a little bit too short because Ikea and Caboodle have two different dimensions. Caboodle's where we got our pull-out pantry from. And the reason we did this, the reason that we went with two different flat pack companies is because it's a really odd space that we have here. And Ikea, their smallest pull-out pantry is 200 millimeters and we only had about 150 millimeters of space. So, we thought we'd mix and match. Didn't take into consideration the different dimensions of like the fronts. But yeah, I made one out of MDF. Yeah, I think it turned out all right. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the drawers turned out. I think the color looks really beautiful. The only thing is there are a few spots like here and here and on the corner like here as well that did chip. So I will need to fix that up. But yeah, kitchen is coming along.